Hi again, here we are to continue talking about Xcode and this uh, page view controller project, which is going to turn into hopefully an, an example for onboarding anytime soon. Um, so, so far, you know, um, what I have here is, uh, I'll test it here. I've got a simple project and it's uh, using the page view controller. And as you swipe, you can go from, you know, one page to the next, right? And on the last page, there's a button at the bottom here called Done. And what I'd like to do is, you know, if someone was using the app and they needed some instruction to use the app, I'd like to show them these pages here like this so they can swipe through them. And then when they get to the last page, they can tap the Done button and move on to the app. Okay. Right now, my page view controller is using the, um, the page curl. I'm going to switch it. I'm going to click on page view controller here and then switch the transition style to scroll. It'll be a little better for me. Um, so now they'll swipe to the left and right, you know, um, or slide, you know, to the left and right. Yeah, so that's kind of a lot better there, right? Okay. So let's look at what we have here in Storyboard again. Okay. So what I've got here is I've got a view controller, and this view controller loads this instance of page view controller. So we can kind of think about this as appearing on top of the view controller. Okay, so it's kind of like here, you know. And then the page view controller, um, actually let's put that back, right? And the page view controller loads up the pages over here, and we've got, you know, three or four pages, right? And so we can think of this as actually loading this one on top here, right, like that, okay? And when it comes to the last page that has the Done button, when you tap on the Done button, really what I want to do is I want that view controller to talk all the way back here to the, to the main view controller in the back, okay? And so, you know, that's a little bit of a problem, okay? Um, I mean, it's not, it's not that big a problem. We just need a good strategy for it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use a protocol, okay? And let's set that up. And you could do the same thing on each of these subpages. They could each have a class. But since I'm not doing anything with these, they don't have any interaction. They don't even need anything. But the last one here has this button. And so I have to have some code here. And I need a place to put the code. So I need a, a view controller or a, or a you know, subclass of UI view controller to assign to this view. Okay. So let's do Command N. Make a new... Uh, iOS source Cocoa Touch class. And what we want to do is we want to make a subclass of UI view controller. And let's call this last page. So it'll be last page view controller. Okay. And so I'll click next. And I'll save this into the folder with my other files. Right. And what we want to do is we want to go to storyboard here. Click on the last page the one with the done button, and go to the identity inspector and set the class name here to last page view controller. Okay, so you can just start typing it and it should code hint you or code complete it um, just to make sure you get the name spelled right. Okay, so so there we go. There's the um, the name. And, uh, and now we need to set up an IB outlet for this button. So I'm going to option click on last page view controller here. So it should open in the assistant editor. And I'll make a little space here between, you know, view did load method and the, the beginning of the class. Let's put a mark in here, right? So we'll say mark IB actions like this, right? And if you needed some outlets, you could put that in here too, but we just need an action for this button. And what I want to do is control drag from the button. Be sure that you don't drag from one of the constraints because you can actually create a link to the constraint, right? So I'm going to click on the button, drag into here, and then it should say type UI button, right? And then you know you got the right one. Let's set the connection type to action and the name to done button tapped, okay? I'm going to switch this to UI button and then click connect. And there we go. So now we've got our method, right? Let me close the assistant editor and open up 
last page view controller so we can see it here. So there it is. And what happens when you tap on this? Well, we got to do a couple things. Like essentially, we need to talk to um, view controller, okay? So we want to send a message to view controller. Let's do send message to view controller, right? And view controller for us is this file right here, view controller, right? Okay, so how do we do that? Put a question mark there, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to give this guy a protocol, okay? So we'll go to the top here, and this has to go outside of the class, okay? And so I'll, I'll start typing. Let me actually do that again, right? So this is class here and then import. And you can actually put this in its own file if you want, or you can pretty much put the protocol anywhere. But we're going to type. It's got to be outside the class, though. So we're going to type type up here protocol and then um, your protocol can have a name and it can be anything you want but since it's going to be you know it's going to belong to this last page view controller what we're going to do is we're going to call it last page view controller delegate so anybody that wants to work with last page view controller delegate is going to um, fit the description that we put into the protocol okay so the protocol is essentially saying that um, something has the description that we put inside here, okay? And the description is going to be properties and methods that that something can have. So anything that wants to be declare itself as last page view controller delegate will have to have the, the properties and methods that we define inside the protocol. Now, when you define the things in the protocol, the properties you do you do not assign a value you just give them a type and for methods you don't assign the function body to the method you just assign the name of the method and the parameters that it takes and the per the values that it returns okay so in our case what we want to do is we want to define one function called um, how about let's call it um, uh, last page done okay so that's a method, and it doesn't return a value. And again, in the protocol, we don't include the function body, so we don't use the parentheses here, and we don't put any code in there, okay? And the idea is that um, when something declares itself as a last page view controller delegate, then it must implement this function exactly as it's described here, or it must implement a, fu a function that matches this description you know, the code body of that function can be anything you want, right? So we're just saying it's going to have this function. And that way, we can call on that function from here, right, knowing that, that it's going to match here because it'll, it'll have this, this um, protocol assigned to it, right? So I'll show you how we're going to do that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to View Controller. And I want View Controller to, um, to be a last page view controller delegate, right? So I'm going to go up here, and these are all the protocols that we currently have, right? Okay, so we're currently we're a UI view controller delegate, we're a, or no, we're, that's our subclass, and then we're a, a UI page view controller data source and a UI page view controller um, delegate, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a comma here and then say last page view controller delegate, okay? So now view controller must implement a method called last page done. Okay? And when we look at view controller, now you can see I'm getting an error, and the error is going to tell me that, hey, you know, view controller does not conform to the protocol last page view controller delegate, right? Yeah, that's because we didn't implement that, that function yet. So let's put that in here. Let's put a mark in here. We'll say mark. Um, last page view controller delegate okay um, methods how about that right and then we'll say um, I'm gonna type in last page done right so as, as soon as I start typing last page done you can see that the method shows up because it's one of our delegate protocols and then Xcode sees that that's something that we should have right so if we hit return it'll fill it in for us <coughs> so there we go, and now the error goes away, <coughs> and then we can do whatever we want here. For right now, 
I'm just going to put in a print statement, right? So ideally, what we want to do here is we want to get rid of the page view controller and then load up our app or display our app, okay? Um, so I'm going to just put a message here and I'll say um, last page. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's say um, view controller says last page done, okay? So right now, um, you know, it'll just print this message in the console when we get this working, and then we'll know that it's working, right? And then from here, then we can do some other stuff later, okay? So this will be a good test for us just to make sure that our, our protocol and delegate are working, okay? So anyway, so we've got that set up. Now let's go back to last page view controller, okay? And what we need now is we know that our, our delegate will have this method, right? But now we need to, to have the delegate. We need a reference to the delegate object, which in our case is hopefully going to be, you know, view controller, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to give last page view controller a variable called delegate, okay? And we'll set the type here to a last page view controller delegate, okay? And I'll make it an optional, so I'll put an a question mark here, right? Okay, so this says that we've got a variable that references an object that is this type. So this means it can be any object as long as that object has the method last page done defined in it. Okay, so as long as the as long as the um, the object right here in delegate, it could be anything, right? But if it, it, it but it only works if it's got this method, right? Because a delegate is a last page view controller, right? And last page view controllers have to implement this, okay? So there we go, right? So so that means that, you know, view controller here, which is a last page view controller delegate and must implement the last page done method is, you know, perfectly valid to be uh, the delegate here, right? Okay? Okay, so, so now that we've got that, like, how does view controller get set in the delegate. Okay, so what we're going to do this time is we're going to go back to view controller and I'm going to find the method here called view controller at index. And this is where we create view controllers or we instantiate view controllers from their identifier name, right? And we, you know, this returns them to the page view controller so the page view controller can display them on the screen, right? So what I'd like to do here is before, um, before we, um, we, we display it to the screen, before we return it here, what I want to do is I want to set the delegate property to, um, to self, which will be this, you know, page view or this view controller file here, right? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll first like, actually, I really only want to set the last one, the delegate property of the last one, right? So we'll do this. We'll just say like, hey, if, you know, um, uh, let's see, um, what's our last page? You know, like you could just test for the page name. So our past last page is called page four view controller. So why don't we do this? Why don't we just check it and we'll say like, hey, you know, if um, uh, pages, oops, uh, index equals last page or page four view controller, then we'll say um, view controller, which should have a delegate property. Oh, wait, doesn't have the delegate, right? That's because over here, this is returning a UI view controller. It's not returning a last page view controller, right? So what we'll do is we'll, we'll cast this as a last page view controller. And I think we can do that with the parentheses here. So we'll say view controller as a last page view controller. And then we can say dot uh, delegate equals self, okay? Um, maybe we should do this. Yeah, maybe we got to put the exclamation point in there. Maybe we should have just done if let here too, but uh, I'll leave it like that for now. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll rearrange that in a bit, but that should work for now. Um, so let's give it a test, right? So we'll, uh, 
oh yeah, you know, I got to do one more thing. Sorry. Um, okay, so let's let's go over that again, right? So so every time we create a view controller here, if it's the last one, right, and th that's the actually a last page view controller, right? Then we'll set the delegate property to self. And so when we look in here and we see that it has a delegate property, then you know this delegate property will be view controller here. And it, that is a last page view controller, right? So it will have this method last page done. And that means that over here, when you tap the done button, and this IB action for my done button right here is where we want to tap that done button and have it do something. So what we can do is we can say delegate. Actually, let's do this. Let's do if um, delegate does not equal nil, then we'll say delegate. Because remember, I made this an optional. So, you know, in some cases it may not have a value, right? So we'll say delegate dot last page done. Okay. And, uh, and there we go. So we'll, uh, we'll save this and we'll give it a test. So if this works, we should be able to you know, tap, tap the button. It should find the delegate and then it should call up view controller here and print the message from last page done right here. Okay, so we'll save that and we'll, we'll test our project here. And so here's my view controllers, right? And then we're getting to the last one there. And then I'll tap on the done button and it prints out the message. View controller says last page done, right? So there we go. So that's pretty good so far. And you could use this to you know, make anything happen. Like if, if these pages that you're scrolling through here need to communicate with the main you know, container you know, view controller or something, you could you could do the same thing. In our case, really, we, just this last page needs to do something, right? So when we tap on this last one, we want to get rid of the, the view here and swap it with, you know, our regular app and then have our user go on and, and you know, use the app after they've read all the instructions and whatnot, okay? So anyway, we'll do that in the next video, and uh, thanks for watching.